I know how you must be feeling, Jack. But I'll take such good care of her, you know I will. Shall I come back with you and tell her? No. I'll tell her. to go live with Mum, do we? We don't, do we? Come on, Dad, tell us. Yeah, all right, lads, give us a chance. It's not good. You two, you're staying here with me. Uh, but Victoria, the judge thought, um, well, he thought Victoria should be with her Mum. That's stupid. It's not right. She wants to be here with us. Is there anything you can do? No. You know where Daddy's been today, sweetheart? You've been to see the man who said Andy could be my brother. A judge, that's right. And I went to see him because he had to decide whether you should stay with me or go and live with your mummy. But I want to live with both of you. I know you do. And we both want you to live with us. That's why I had to go and see the judge. And he thinks, he thinks that you should go and live with your mummy. But I like living here. I know you do. And I love having you here. I'll still see you. Jack, when's Sarah coming? She should be on her way now. She was going to get a taxi from the court. You mean Victoria's going tonight? Yeah. We better go to your room. <laughs> Pack your things so that when Mummy comes, you'll be ready. All right. Hello, Andy. Robert. I expect. Jack's explained to you what's going to happen. Victoria's going to come live with me. And Richie. I'll look after her. You know how much I love her. And you're both welcome to come and see her whenever you want to. We'll see her every day when she'll live in here. Look, I know this is difficult for you. And one day you'll both understand why I had to do this, but. There's no point in me trying to explain now, not when you're both so upset. So I'll just go and get Victoria and I'll, I'll leave. Where is she? She's upstairs with Jack, packing. He was really ails. No, of course I don't. I'll tell him you're here. You stay there. Don't judge me, Cathy, please. You don't care what I think, surely. I'd like someone to at least try and see things from my point of view. The judge has already done that, hasn't he? Things were over between Jack and I long before I got involved with Richie. The atmosphere in this house was awful. Children suffer when a marriage has died. It's better this way. Don't hide behind your children, Sarah. I'll think even less of you. Victoria will be happy living with me. You'll see. I hope you're right, for your sake. I better go. I think you better stay there till Jack comes down. Gusting. Uh, 
all the drawers are empty now, Daddy. What shall I bring next? Daddy? Uh, maybe we could sort your toys out. All right. We can put them in this. Do you want me to take over for a bit? No, it's all right, son. It's all right. Thanks. Uh, maybe we should leave a couple of your toys here for when you come back to stay. What do you reckon, Andy? Yeah, definitely. What do you think, Daddy? <sighs> yeah, I think the boys are right. You'll be coming back here lots of times. All right. I'll leave Mr Lamb in charge. Everything's loaded. We're ready to go. Time to say goodbye. Bye, Victoria. You'd be a good girl. Do you hear me? I will, I promise. You keep brushing those teeth. Can you see your face in them? Sweetheart. It's time, Jack, please. Hop in. Please seat belt up. Jack. Oh, go. Just go, will you? Who's 